Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to 10 Minute Tutorials. We are doing a really good video today. Today is a script that you can get for free that has been around for a long time. I've used it for a long time. And what it's gonna do is it's actually going to get you um, email addresses. So let's say you get a pen test target and all of a sudden you need the emails to try and start you know, finding targets, right? So before we hop into it, I want to say huge shout out. Thank you guys so much. We're almost to 2K subs. If you could please hit that sub button. We're so close. I want to hit it before the end of the year. That would be awesome. We are so close. Thank you guys. And also hit that Discord. Check it out because we are doing a contest for a free Security Plus voucher in there. Um, and that will be running from Thanksgiving to Christmas. So make sure you're checking that out. Anybody can win. You don't have to be an uh, elite hacker or anything like that. So Go ahead and join it, check it out. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So first things first, we're gonna look at the script itself. Okay, so here's the script, it's googmail.py. Okay, it's been around for a while. Um, I would give credit to who wrote it, but I actually don't know who wrote it. Um, I don't know if anybody does anymore. So here's the thing. So you don't, it doesn't matter if you read code or not. I'm not gonna dive into the, it's not very big, right? So it's a Python script, not very big. It's written in Python 2. And you can see here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually look, and you see it while page counters under 50, so it's only gonna look in the top 50 pages, um, and then it's gonna go ahead and dive in and keep going. So it you can you can up this if you want. You can change the script. You could make it while page counters a thousand and have it search a thousand pages. Now keep in mind as you're doing this, it's gonna get longer. It's gonna take longer, right? But what it's gonna do, what the script's gonna do essentially, is you put in an email address or not even an email address, a domain. So let's say facebook.com, right? Now I will tell you most big sites, um, if you have big targets, like let's say you get hired to do a pen test for microsoft.com, right? You don't really have to use a script like this because they're going to have thousands of emails out there. Um, they're going to have information all over, right? The other thing to keep in mind is that they have security people that are probably making sure when they're posting stuff, they're not posting um, internal emails and things like that, email addresses. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't use this. I'm just saying you may get times where you don't get any results from this. And that's common. And the reason that's common is because it's only doing a quick brief search to look for targets. So keep that in mind that you this does not substitute manual um, OSINT. Okay, you still have to manually do some OSINT. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So we looked at the script. You can see here, it's actually gonna find it and then it's going to add at for you. So at domain name, which is what we're gonna put in, um, and then it's gonna add it. So the reason that's important is you don't put the at sign. If you do, it's gonna doubly put the at sign or it's gonna Google search for the at sign, excuse me, and it's not gonna find anything. So just to make sure we're safe, keep in mind this is an OSINT tool. So this is not touching the, the system, this is not touching anything. So theoretically, this is all legal depending on where you're located, still only do this for ethical and legal purposes, but depending on where you're located, searching for public information is not illegal. So let's go ahead and the, just to make sure that I'm 100% checking my boxes, making sure I'm legal, ethical, I went to Bug Crowd, here's Bug Crowd, okay? These are um, companies that are legally saying, here's our domain, see what you can find, right? And I picked I just picked a couple really quickly off. I'm going to do some for you, but this first one, this is on hacker one. This is just a veto. I've never heard of them. I don't know who they are and it looks like it's a dot RU. So of course I wouldn't know who they are, but we're going to run it against them and just see, Hey, what do we get? Right? So first things first, this is written in Python two. Um, I don't know. We can check real quick to see if it works in Python three. Let's just check it out. I don't know. Um, and all we're going to do is say Python three, and then the script, right? And I'm gonna put the link in the description to the script, um, and I'll show you guys at the end how to actually download it because there is a username password that you need to download it. So Python 3, Google Mail, that's the script name. And then we're gonna go ahead and say avito.ru. So you notice I don't put the at sign. That's important because again, it won't work. So it's gonna search all through Google in the top 50 pages and it's going to look for that, basically that domain with anything at. Okay, so go ahead and hit. And okay, so it doesn't work in Python 3, so we just gotta switch to Python 2, no big deal. And there you go, so now we hit enter, and watch what happens. 
So it's quick. The reason it's quick is because it's just doing a brief search. It's not search deep diving. It's not going into these sites. It's looking for things right off the bat. And you can see here we have PR, iOS, whatever that is, support, tech. So you're getting email lists now. And this is just a brief, I mean, this took 10 seconds, right? So another one that we did, and I'll show you, is this is clause.io. So this is another one that is completely on there. So we'll say clause.io. Now, why is this script important, right? Because you're thinking, okay, that's cool, but it's giving me a couple emails, whatever. If you script this, add this script, you can see there it is, hello and sales. So we have two more. So let's say we are doing a bug bounty or let's say we're doing pen tests. We can run this script, but what we can also do is we can automate this to run against a whole list of domains if we want it to and provide us a list of hundreds of email addresses that we now have as targets, right? So you can really do a lot with this. Um, again, this does not substitute manual expo or manually looking because if, it, if you just didn't manually look, you'd be wasting a lot of time um, because some of these, you got to think, bots can find these emails as well. Um, if it's this easy to find, there might be a reason. And when I say there might be a reason, I mean, it might be like this one, sales or support. They might want you to find some of these. So that's fine. But what the key is, you also are getting their, um, you can see PR, iOS. I don't know what those are, but let's say we had a bunch of them. You're getting their patterns for their emails too. So you can start guessing emails as well. So just keep that in mind that that's kind of some of the stuff you're looking at. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to get the script real quick. And then I'm going to actually put it in the um, description as well. So it's just a wget. And for, um, so we'll go ahead and show you. So then you have to use user, okay? And the user is student. And then the password is student, okay? And then it's HTTPS. And then it's hacker housebook. If I can type, do, 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 do. it's www, excuse me, hackerhousebook.com, and then files, googmail.py. Now, keep in mind, this is a tool used to learn, okay? This is not a tool to get crazy and start trying to hack everybody because Again, these emails are out there publicly. So what that tells me is they are expecting public emails. So keep that in mind when you're doing this, that these, these emails are public. These aren't hidden emails. These aren't, these are out there publicly. It just gives you a place to start and a target list where you can begin to start looking. So you can see here, again, if we were doing a pen test or like we, I said, bug bounties, these companies are on the bug bounty program. So if I was going to try and start attacking a veto.ru and look for vulnerabilities, here's where I'd start, right? I just found emails. Now I could go into Multigo. I could go into a bunch of stuff and keep building my tree of targets. And from here, this is just a starting point. So this is a good, good starting point when you're starting your OSINT. Just run the script real quick. Go ahead and go to the next. Now, we created a script um, on our Patreon at the beginning of the Patreon where we started doing different types of, um, basically the script just runs a bunch of things for you that to try and start getting enumeration. I may add this to it because I like this script. I may add this script and say, you know, the target IP and the tar target domain, run this against it as well. So there's different things you can do with this and I really like this script. I think you guys will have a lot of fun using it. Keep in mind it has to be ran in Python too. And also keep in mind that there's going to be times you don't get results and those big name companies don't put their emails out there the way that these do. And what I mean by that is big name companies, when this thing is doing a quick Google search, it's not going to each page and checking. You can make it do that if you script it, if you know how to program it, you can make it crawl. But keep in mind, that's not what this is doing. This is actually just checking the Google results real fast for the emails. Big companies keep their email results out of those quick Google searches, and that's intelligent, right? That's smart. So this is for 
insecure sites, right? And that's the point. So keep that in mind when you guys are doing the targets. Also, have fun. If you guys like this content, hit the sub button. It helps out tremendously. We're almost at 2K, guys. We're almost there. And we're going to keep going down the Try Hack Me Learning path, um, the red team path, and I'm going to hop back on that. Um, but I've been pretty busy. And, yeah, so let's go ahead and keep going. Keep grinding. Thanks, guys.